To begin the day, the sophomores will wake up at the Fairfield Inn and eat breakfast at approximately 7.30 a.m. Tourists say that the breakfast is good and convenient, and the staff is very polite and accommodating. The students will then leave the hotel at 8.30 and arrive in New Jersey Liberty State Park at approximately 9 a.m. Um, it's okay. We've, uh, we've made a little um, difference on the trip agenda this year. As of now, we are not going to go to the, to the park itself and go to the um, Statue of Liberty. We're going to take a ferry ride around there to be able to have us get to the uh, museum, uh, being able to go to the Museum of Natural History, though. So it, uh, when I was there a few times, it just it wasn't all that great. There's a Statue of Liberty. Um, you can, we've gone up before, but it's not always guaranteed whether we're going to be able to go on the pedestal. Next, the students will go to the fantastic Ellis Island that was open to the public in 1976. The students will then go to the truly majestical Liberty Island to see the Statue of Liberty. We've done that, I think, one year out of my seven years going. Um, we don't always get to have tickets to go up there, though, but it is um, very crowded when you get up there. The students will then walk up Lower Broadway, also known as Times Square. The tour will end at the 9-11 Memorial. At the end of Wall Street is the World Trade Center and Memorial Waterfalls. This extremely powerful site is a must-see visit. This amazing monument will be filled with emotional and inspirational stories, pictures, and artifacts of the 9-11 events. That'd be, I'm assuming, is going to be close to the 9-11 Memorial. Um, there, you're not having a lot of the big stores like there is when we're closer to Central Park in Midtown. Uh, one of my biggest things is there's a couple like authentic New York style pizza shops down there. Um, still have your regular souvenir shops and everything like that. Though. From the 9-11 Memorial, the students will go to St. Paul's Church built in 1766. In 1776, St. Paul's Church caught on fire and was rebuilt in 1790. This beautiful church is where George Washington attended and is a great spot for history lovers. The students will also see the church's cemetery and will learn about the people in it and how they were important. This is just a, a small church located close to the World Trade Center where a lot of the first aid responders, the first responders went to and kind of brought survivors to and um, kind of lived out of basically when they were doing the rescues for 9-11. Um, it's definitely worth seeing. There's a lot of um, memorials in there for kids um, writing letters and picture, family pictures and stuff like that, though. So it's kind of kind of sobering to see all that, though, but it's definitely worth seeing. Yeah, I think probably the 9-11 memorial, just um, being back down there, kind of seeing the history and everything like that, um, and being able to see St. Paul's Church. I also like going to get some authentic New York City pizza that day, too. The students' last stop will be Cracker Barrel in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Um, we have the ability for, I think it's just a few selected menu items where you can get your chicken and dumplings, country ham, uh, basically chicken tenders, and there's like a country fried steak meal um, that's pretty good there overall. I usually go for the chicken tenders, I think it was though. So At approximately 11 p.m., the students will return to Fairless High School.